do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, so we're back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have a crazy, 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 crazy video. This is crazy. Listen, so these people have been married. No, I don't think they've been married, but they've been together for nine years. He's 28 years old, right? And his, his, no, yeah, he's 29 years old and his girlfriend is 28 years old. The boyfriend cheated on the girlfriend with her younger sister. All I'm saying is... How young is the sister? That's all I'm saying. We finna find out, though. If you're excited for this video, smash the freaking like button. Let's go. I ain't talking too much. After a nine years relationship, I, 28M, found that my boyfriend, 29M, cheated on me with my sister, 19F. My family is on their side. Someone told me that I could post this here. Your family is on their I side. What the type of grandma. family you got? I'm very good with English. I know how to read it, but I'm very bad at writing and redacting. I grew up in a very traditional home, but since I started puberty, I realized that I didn't like girls that much. It took me a lot, but when I was 17, I finally realized and accepted I am homosexual. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What's going on? Wait a minute. I thought this was a guy and girl thing. Wait, what did this, the front screen say? Hold on. Oh, no, it's a man and another man. And then the, the man found out he wasn't gay no more and got with the man's sister? Okay, something just got different. Let's, okay, let's see what the heck going on. Sexual. My brother, 24M, but then he was 13, and my sister, 19F, but then she was 8, took it very well, nothing changed between us, maybe they still were too young, but they totally accepted me. My mother, after a lot of time and questioning a million times if I was sure, or if isn't just a phase, just told me to be careful, my father wasn't happy at all, still isn't. Two years later I met the a guy and totally fell in love with him. We started a relationship and I believed he was perfect, I loved him, and we started to live together since three years ago. Living together was a dream, we matched almost perfectly in almost everything, I loved him, cared for him, and he made me felt safe, loved and cared. But a couple months ago, I took my phone and headed to the bathroom, I took a lot of time there, and usually use my phone to play or watch videos. Uh huh. Like when us I was all. already doing, I noticed I took the wrong phone. We have matching cases. I bought them for our anniversary. Matching cases? You just trying to get caught. I just opened YouTube and started watching videos. When I was done, the phone got a notification, a text from my sister. Unconsciously, I opened it, believing it must be something important to contact him. I wasn't ready for what I saw. It was a nude. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a god flippity darn minute here. Okay, imagine. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. You. Ooh, that's weird. Proud of what I did. I never looked into his phone before, but I started scrolling their conversation. After you saw a naked picture of your sister, you started scrolling some more? Something, something ain't right here. I was in tears, furious. There was a lot of nudes, sexting, even a couple of sex videos of the two of them. I felt so disgusted, sick, and humiliated. He had been cheating for months with my freaking sister. Those images are now burned inside my brain. I rushed into him and told him about what I saw. He didn't realize until I throw him his phone with their conversation open. He tried to calm me down, saying it wasn't what I was thinking. What's well, not what you, if you, I'm seeing what I'm seeing. I'm not thinking nothing. What the, f man, what's going on? I'm not proud of what I did next, but I jumped into him and started punching him, oh. screaming about he slept with my sister. Multiple times. We broke up. But after that, things just got worse. I moved back to my parents' house, and first thing that happened when I arrived was my sister slapping my at my face with all her strength for what happened. All my family knew about it, and, for some reason, almost everyone was on my sister's side. Oh, that's just bad. At first I got some support, telling me it was okay to felt hurt, but didn't last it long until everyone started to be on my sister's side when, a few days later, they'd started their relationship. My mom said I can't be mad at them, because, you don't choose who you felt in love with, and that, I should let go, forgive, and be happy for their happiness. Dad is in a, I'm not okay about how it happened, but at least she is happy with a good guy mood. With a good guy? What? What the f- Yo, what type of family is this? Somebody search up what type of family this is. Almost everyone is just waiting for me to accept it and be happy for them, like if this last nine years never happened, like if they never hurted me in the worst way possible. My sister believes she didn't do anything wrong, that she has no fault about them falling in love, even posted on her Instagram a story with the text, don't let your boyfriend stop you to met your true love. 
There's no way your sister posted, never let your boyfriend stop you from finding your husband. What the? What type of? They, they, this family is weird. My now ex tried to apologize. He said he never meant to hurt me, but he couldn't avoid it. That he found he was bi. He even told me he still loved me and doesn't want to lose me, and even dared to suggest a polyamorous relationship. I almost punched him. In wait the a minute. Again. Wait a poly. What, poly. What, poly. What? Enough. I don't know what polyamorous mean, but if you put the clues together, it's the boyfriend, the brother, and the sister. That's incest. That's not polyamorous. We ain't making up new freaking terminology. That's incest. And that's what he wants to do? What type of... Somebody Google what type of family this is, because this ain't no normal type of family. On my side, since everything started, is my brother. He has been my best friend and biggest support these days. He is as mad as me with everything that happened. The first time he saw him after this happened, he punched my ex in the stomach as hard as he could. Dang. He says my ex is an horrible person. He and is. And also, a weird and disgusting creep. That's because facts. Because how he could do this with a girl he had known since she was an 11 years old kid. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you're telling me this dude was... So you're telling me this... The boyfriend knew of the sister since she was 11. Knew the sister since she was 11 years old. That's not just weird to people. Like, you knew this person when they was a little, little... You watched this person grow up. And you was just waiting. You was plotting this whole... All these years. You was plotting all these years. And you got her. That's not... That's 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 not weird to you, people? That's not... Like, let me know in the comments. Is that weird or, I'm, or I'm, I'm dragging it? Am I dragging it? I don't think I'm dragging it. I don't think I'm dragging it at all. That's wild. That is... Now, things just had been worse. I was forced to spend Christmas with the family, and both of them were there. Everyone just expected me to be happy and celebrate, and received a lot of death glares and bad comments about me ruining the mood, and to get over it and stop being dramatic. My mom even told me that, if I can't at least be polite, I better leave after I refuse to take a family what photo. What the f- Man, you leave! Time. You want this pedophile around your freaking daughter like a freaking- this, some, Google what family this is. I don't know what to do and how to handle this anymore. I'm still feeling hurted, breedied, but everyone just keep telling me to ignore this last nine years and get over it. I don't know what to do. How can I keep handle this? I don't know. How can I accept it? You can't. How can I move on? You can't. Update. Last days have been crazy, but to make it short, I'm already out of that house and had cut all contact with my family, and That's my good. mother is turning crazy about that. After the post, and all your comments, that I appreciate a lot and I want to thank to every single one of you, I realized I was not in the wrong for feeling hurt and betrayed in so many levels, and decided to move as soon as possible. As I said before, I already have a place, but I can't move there yet, so, with a lot of help from some of my friends, and my brother's friends, I planned my way out. Those last days, I acted like a rock, trying to don't give them any emotion, thing that my mother took as a sign that I was finally getting over it. She even told me, if now I realized how easier and happier is everyone's lives if I just stop being so dramatic. What? This my, Whose Every mama is this? Somebody Google what type of mama this is. Away from them. I waited until last Sunday, and when everyone went to the church, like the perfect happy family they pretend they are, I called my friends and moved all my stuff out of there. One of them offered to keep most of my stuff in his place, and I went to a nice hotel. Before leaving, I left a note in the table to my parents, basically saying how much they hurted me, not only by siding on my ex's side, also by allowing and celebrating their affair, and by making me feel like I had no Literally, that, that's so them. stupid! Then I realized how they actually never accepted me and how they are so homophobic that they rather see me hurt and suffering than happy with another man. I ended it saying that I would be out of their lives, that I wouldn't contact them and I expected them to don't try to reach me, Dang. to please, try to be good parents and take care of my sister, because- Take care of your sister? <laughs> your sister is the ops too, brother? <laughs> I suspect he eventually will hurt her. That afternoon I slept and rest. As I blocked all of them in any way I could think, they were unable to even know where I was, but, from the things some friends and neighbors had told me, when they came back and realized what happened, dad was furious, mom had a meltdown and my sister cried about me doing all this drama just to hurt her. They tried everything to contact what? me, called some relatives to try to find me, to the point that dad called my brother, demanding him answers, and even ordering him to tell me that I must go back home, stop this nonsense and apologize, or there ordering will be consequences. Him. Consequences? I'm a grown man. What what consequences? You go beat me? <laughs> told my dad that he didn't knew anything and told me everything shortly after. I'm moving to my new place this Friday. I used this last days to relax, to think, and to be in peace with everything and myself. I still heard it. It had been nine years of my life. Years I really believed I was with the one for me. Dang, nine years sure is crazy. More though. time to heal.
Not years I a long therapy time. Too, and it felt good talking about this and being told in person that it's okay to feel this way and that I'm not the wrong one here. It definitely is. I, some time to think about I don't see how his family thinks he's wrong. I don't, I don't see it. Like, what was wrong? Like, he did nothing wrong. He literally did nothing wrong. The sister did something wrong. The guy, the pedophile did something wrong. This guy ain't really do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I started to think about all the times my ex and my sister interacted, all the times they were alone, or he offered to be around her, trying to realize how it happened without me noticing it, and when it started. I know my ex is horrible, I'm sure now he groomed her, and that he only waited until she was legally an adult. Because, For sure. Because, as I recently found, their affair started a few months after her 18th birthday. He was, I'm telling, bro, I'm, didn't I just tell y'all, he was waiting the entire freaking time since she was 11 years old. He knew, he saw her and was like, that, that's the one, that's the one. You know what I'm saying? I'm 11 years old. Freaking weirdo. And despite that, I still worried about him hurting her, manipulating her, or doing something awful to her. Don't get me wrong, I'm still angry with both of them. I don't want to even see or be close to them, but she's still my little sister and don't want her to suffer. I know it doesn't eh. make sense, but I can't stop feeling this way. Anyways, I think I already wrote too much. Just wanted to give an update to all the ones who asked for it. Again, thank you all for the support. Man, that's freaking crazy, bro. I told y'all in the beginning, like this, I told y'all he was a weirdo, a weirdo pedophile dude. That's freaking crazy. That's disgusting, first of all. And he, the, the, the crazy thing is that the dude, the boyfriend acts, he's like, you want a poly relationship or whatever the heck he said? Where it's basically the, the sister, the brother, and him. Like, that's not weird. What? Somebody, like I said, please Google what the heck type of family this is. Let me know in the comments down below. That's crazy. Anyways, y'all, that's the end of the freaking video, bro. If you thought this video was crazy, you have to watch this video right here. This father got cheated on by the girl he's been with since he was 13 years old. And everybody knew, but nobody said nothing. Just watch the freaking video. It was crazy. That's about it, man. I'm going to see y'all out.